Alright lads and welcome to Let's Play Football Manager 2020, this is going to be part 1. Now I know what you're probably thinking, how come it is part 1 on the 12th of September 2026 when the game starts in 2019. The reason for that is I'm quite new to all of this Football Manager and YouTube stuff so I'm kind of just learning my way and I wanted to just do it with a, a save that I already have. We're currently dominating Scottish football as Celtic and the goal is to bring some European glory back to Parkhead. So it's a much different team from what Celtic would start the game with as I've been here for this is the seventh season. So let's just go through the team and we'll get to know the players individually. So in goals today we have got two really good goalkeepers so I'll show you both of those first but the first one is going to be Hugo Afonso. He's a 24-year-old Portugal international and he just recently in the summer won the World Cup and won Best Goalkeeper in the World Cup. So he is a good goalkeeper. But for us, if we have a look, not great. Like, meh. Concedes. He's not been amazing, but he's done, had a good summer and he's kept a clean sheet in the last game. So he's getting the nod today against Rangers. Our other goalie is Ryan Pardo Rockies. He started at Hibernian uh, and we snatched him up straight away because he had five star potential. So we treat this guy as like a homegrown player. We love him. He's been here for years, playing in goals for us since he was about 18, I think. Like he was getting the games here four years ago. And the last two seasons, he's been number one. Uh, for good reason, he's always performed well. If we go on to the team for today, we'll start with the right back. We've gone for Naldo. 19 year old Brazilian worth 14 million. We signed him from whoever that is for 17 million three seasons ago, but he's just finally starting to come good now. Lots of potential. Just got his first cap for Brazil in the international break before this game, so this is I think this is where he's going to start to come become a player for us. He's been a kind of bit part up until this season. Centre back, we're going to go for Strahinja Pavlovic. He's a 25-year-old Serbian international, lots of experience for still being a reasonable age. We've had him since 2021, which is four or five, this is his sixth year at Celtic. We got him for 3.2 million and as you can see, he's been a rotation option that whole time and he's always been good. Next to him, we've got Ben Godfrey. We broke our transfer record when we brought this guy in here from Norwich for 37 million four years ago. That shows the kind of money that Celtic are playing with these days, and we'll, we'll talk about that a bit more before we play the game. So this is his uh, fourth season with Celtic. He's been pretty much one of the first names on the team sheet every game, and for good reason, he is amazing. Left back, we've got Greg Taylor, one of the few Celtic originals that actually are still at the club. Four-star current ability, Scotland international, but he is also behind Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney. So it's not a stick-on to get into the Celtic team. Been here since we started as the manager and just basically does the job down that left-hand side. <clears throat> Centre mid, we've got, we've got the, one of the two best players at the team. This is Jada Eduardo, he's Brazil's key player. As you can see, 35 caps, he's only 22 years of age. He's like the deep line playmaker, plays kind of similar to, I, would, I want to say Xavi, but he doesn't score as many as Xavi, but we treat him like he's ever Xavi. Give him the ball and he will make the game tick over for us. He's a much improved version of Scott Brown in real life. Centre mid, we've got a lot of options, but today we're going to play with Christian Eriksen. 34 years old, we brought him in for Paris Saint-Germain on a free in the summer. Uh, where I think we're paying him a decent amount of money, 120 grand a week. But the reason that we brought him in is because we're pretty much sewn up the Scottish game now. We dominate pretty much every game. We are, we're guaranteed to win the league before the ball gets kicked. But we were lacking in the European department. We didn't have any, a lot of our team are really young regions that are coming through. So we wanted to add a bit of experience in there. And I think that Christian Eriksen, uh, with his like, mental game and his technical game, it can still do a job uh, and keep the keep, keep the younger players focused and stuff like that. On the right-hand side, we've got Romero. He's a Belgian international. He is top goal scorer for us last season. As you can see, he is a four and a half star potential, but he could four and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. So he can still get better. He's only twenty two. And if we have a look, 17 goals last season, 16 the season before, 9 and 17 the season before. So he's a goal threat, 3 and 3 this season. 
and he's a right winger so he is starting to come good on the left hand side well, actually how much did we buy him for well, let's find out that with each of the players 23.5 million pounds so again not cheap considering Celtic's real life tr record transfer is 9 million for Odson Edward who we'll come to in a minute if you've looked at the sub bench <clears throat> we've got Alfredo here he's worth 22 million Spanish international 11 caps 8 goals I think he came third in the World Cup top goal scorer uh, only 22 years old, we bought him from Real Madrid last summer for 28 million. Had a kind of quiet-ish, I think he got injured and then he got sent off against Chelsea in the Champions League knockout ground and I kind of lost faith in him. But this, he had a good World Cup and he started this season hitting the ground running. So hopefully that long may that continue. Up front, we have Greg R, a Scotsman, Scotland International, 11 caps, 10 goals. He's only 10 finishing, he had 9 finishing last time I checked. So if you, as you can see, specimen, he is an absolute specimen with that acceleration, that pace, balance, agility. This is the first season he's been kind of getting treated as first choice. Last season he was back up, so hopefully he can keep up this kind of form and bang is in a few goals. Uh, I think he won second to top goal scorer at the World Cup, so a lot of the players were doing well. And up front with him today, we have Antonin Robert, a Belgian internationalist, 14 caps, 8 goals. He has been bought from Anderlecht last summer for 29 million, and he managed to get 10 goals in 18 starts. He's still young, so we, we had a few other players that we've let go this season to try and like let these younger guys come in and start uh, getting their potential reached. On the bench, we've talked about Pardo Rockies. We've got Pazaglia. He's a right back. We got from Juventus for 4.8 million in our second season. Uh, sent him out on loan a couple of times, but he's been a kind of rotation option. He's not amazing, but he puts in a shift when we need him. But he's not, we had, um, I want to say Frimpong, but we sold him in the summer. So now we're going. We're putting our hopes on Naldo to really push on and start like filling up these stars. Uh, center mid backup, we have Amit Tekken. He is a German internationalist, five caps. We bought him four seasons ago for 31 million. And as you can see, he plays a lot of games, does really well, pretty much. Decent player to bring off the bench. This is the best player at the team. He's Tiago Almada, 25 years old, uh, five star current ability, five star potential ability. Argentina's key player. I think he might have won the World Cup before, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Where would it be? Named Argentina squad best 11. Argentina inducted into the Argentina Hall of Fame. So he is a bit of a player and we love him very much. But he was injured so we're not going to rush him in today. We might bring him on in the second half. S centre back is Kieran Smith. Bought him from Man City last in the summer for 7 million. We had him on loan last year. Good option. When we bought him he had 4.5 star potential. But now when we look at him it's dropped down to 4. But 4 star potential for this team is still really, really good. They're not an Irish internationalist. We also have Odson Edward. Now, let me tell you the story about Odson Edward. He well, starts at Celtic, as you can see, left us for 36 million after two years. But if you have a look at his goal record, 37 game, 41 games overall, 40 goals for Celtic in that season. 59 games, 60 goals. So, as you can, as you can see, he was a bit of a hero of mine. We replaced him with Erling Haaland for 27 million. So we spent this money on Haaland. Haaland came in and banged the goals in 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25. But then he went off the boil and we got rid of him and we've been kind of struggling to replace him. So we had shitloads of money left and we thought we need go European goals. That's what let us down against Chelsea. We went out and away goals. None of our players really looked like they were had that cutting edge in uh, Europe. So we thought, right, let's treat ourselves. Let's go and get Odson Edward. He was a goal machine. He's been there a few years now. We could maybe bring him back. So when we scouted him, he was four stars. It looks good here. Then when he got here, it was two and a half stars. So he's a record transfer, 48 million pounds. And he's only two and a half stars. So he's only scored one goal since he came back. So that's looking like a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> We'll go through the transfers just to see the main ones that's happened, how we ended up having so much money. Uh, so this is this season. We've spent 74 million, 48 million on Odds and Edward, 14.25 million on this guy from Juventus, 18 year old, 
give him a season in the reserves, maybe out on loan, and he's on loan actually at Aves. Get him out on loan, get him a bit more playing time, and then next year we might look to try and bring him in, maybe the year after. Uh, this guy, Argentinian young guy, 19 year old, decent player, five star potential, bring him in, let him get a wee bit of time in the reserves, put him out on loan in January, maybe two seasons on loan, see how he is then. Uh, he was only 4 million, so it's worth it. Kieran Smith we've spoke about, Odson Edward I spoke about. In Golo Kante brought him on in a free. Again, we just wanted more experience, and it's in Golo Kante, and he only wanted 15 grand a week, so we thought we'll have you. Thanks very much. So he will probably not play too many games, but he's good to just have in and around the squad because you can get him tutoring with that professional. His determination is not the best, but he's he, he's got a good personality, which hopefully rub off on a few other of our youngsters, who we can then use them to rub off on more of our youngsters and then end up with professional players. These are the outs for this season. £23 million pound for Werner. We had him last year. He scored there's a few goals. He was okay, a goal every two games, but he let us down in Europe, so we sold him for double what we bought him for a year later. Uh, we'll take that. These guys, you won't know any of them, so and they're not worth crazy money, so we'll just ignore them for now, because we're just getting caught up. £134 million last season we spent. As you can see, a lot of them were... This is the players we bought, you've already seen them. This is, but we brought in 139 million. So if we have a look, we sold Jermaine Frimpong for 43 million, he's away to Tottenham. Man City did have a 45% sell on clause, so they got 20 odd million of it, and we, I didn't realise that until I had sold him. But as you can see, he was good for us, very, very good. Um, we should have maybe kept him. This guy, Brazilian, we brought him in, was decent, started to come good in his last season. Yeah, well, he was always decent, but he wasn't amazing. So, and he played in the same position as the Almada. So we had to get shot of him because he wasn't great. Uh, Erlen Haaland sold him twenty four point five million. Had good years out of him, done well. Scott Tomini got him for six million. Sold him for eighteen two or three years later. Made a bit of money. These guys weren't a lot of money, so we don't need to really worry about it too much. Right, uh, this year, which would have been twenty four twenty five. This is where the, the big money came from. Lucas Martin Trejo, uh, uh, he came through as a regen, turned amazing, sold him five, six years later, five, five years later, bought him for five million, sold him for 90 million. Uh, pretty much that's what you need to do when you're these small teams and it feels amazing when it works out. Sergio Gomez was the biggest transfer that summer. We also have this guy in our team, Rudy Clavaggio, Clavigia. Or whatever his name is, I'm not sure. Rudy Clavijo. That's it. He is our best centre back with the potential to be even better, but he is unhappy and has been requesting transfer. But the thing is, the reason he's unhappy is Arsenal offered like twenty million and I says, What will it take to keep you here? He said, More money, sixty grand a week. I says, Okay. And I thought that was it, done. But then a week later he's unhappy that I didn't offer him a new deal. At that point, I offered him a new deal with 62 grand a week. He refused it, and we've been at loggerheads with each other since. But we're keeping him because he's amazing. Like, he's the best centre-back that we've got, and that's saying a lot. Uh, any of these other guys that are interesting? Not really. Not really. I think we might have a couple of more big transfers. He, I don't think that's our record. So this is another guy we sold for a lot of million money. Moriba. We bought him from Barcelona for a million pound. And we played them for three seasons. No, we played them two seasons and then one game in the next season and then sold them for 87 million. So that was good. Man United are going crazy. Gabriel, we bought him as a centre back and then we sold him a couple of years later for. We got him for 11 million, we sold him for 38 million a few seasons later. So that's another reason why we've got a decent amount of money. Um, there is one more big transfer, I think. I think it was 80 million. 70 million Christoph Adger to Man United. We start Celtic started with him. Okay, he was brilliant for his best centre back, but they offered us 70 million and we were Celtic. At that time that was double what we'd ever received and uh, we had to take it. There was also another couple of transfers out of Celtic players that started at Celtic. Um this season. Thirty six we sold Edward, thirty four for Ninjam. So we've made a lot of money in transfers, but hey, that's enough about that. Now we're going to get into the game. Celtic versus Rangers. It's at Ibrox. 
uh, we're going to play this in the Champions League game. We'll have a look at our Champions League group before this starts. FC Salzburg, Inter Milan and Bayern Munich. Last season we had a similarly hard group and we managed to get through second. I think Inter won it and it was PSG and some other team that we should beat. So we'll see how we get on. Let's submit the team and hopefully we can get the, the win at Ibrox. We do normally win all the games in Scotland and if we even draw that we're kind of unhappy considering our team compared to everybody else so we we should win this fairly easily but it is a, a derby so you never really know tell the players to pick up where they left off I think that sounds good sounds good you need to obviously let them know I have faith in you I have faith in you I can see you I've got lots of faith in you uh, it's derby day how much do you look forward to no don't care Answer the middle one and it stays even. So let's go. I think Rangers have beaten us four times and we've beaten them more than 30 since the game began. But it always stings that, that time when they do win. I have to admit, it's no fun. Steven Gerrard left to go to Watford and then got sacked a season later. So well done him. We've, I think we've done three seasons undefeated, or may, maybe four, I'm not sure, but we've definitely done a few. Trebles in four out of the six seasons, I think, and, uh, and that's it. We haven't run any other tournaments, just Scottish stuff. And it's 1-0, Michel Romero, and if you were watching that football there, it was, it was tasty. I didn't actually see it, I was too busy talking. Christian Eriksen, that was some ball over the top and then the big man just caught it on his foot, brought it down, buried it. S scores a lot of goals, I was telling you before the game. Eriksen, good corner. Ow, over the bar. Gregor looks nervous. Well, that means he's going to miss here. Yep. How did we know? Let's demand more from everybody. Andoni, he's a new signing. I think they bought him for six million in the summer. And I'm quite sure of it. Igbembe. This this is a long highlight. It feels like it has got the potential to end with a goal. Greg Taylor's normally reliable at left back. Got beat today, but it doesn't end up in the net. Good. A focus now. Rangers are looking nervous. Lukaku at left back is looking motivated. That was a good ball. That was a goal. That was that wasn't good. So we're at Ibrox. How's the game been going for us? They they've got the advantage. But let's push on. Be more attacking. We're a forward going team. We don't really want to be sitting back too much when you've got a lot better players and as I say a draw is like a beating because we've no actually went a season winning every game so we've been kind of trying to do that as well couldn't have beat his man to put the ball in the box there Taylor Alfredo what a ball what a goal that was fourth goal of the season for Antonin Robert cheeky volley the Belgians do it again for Celtic Rangers are already six points behind us. This will make it nine, and that's a, that's pretty much the league one already. So when the videos will kind of be focused on the European run because we want, we would like a bit of European glory. I thought that was in there. That's the goal. Win some European silverware. Greg Ors looking like he's not having a great game, so that's good because that gives us an excuse to bring on Odson Edward, who's good in the big games. He's a goal machine. Encourage the players. I'm happy. He's are doing good. Dominating the game. I'm, well, I say dominating. I mean, being equal with Rangers, right? The manager and the other team saying stuff. 
it's affecting his team. I'm going to demand more again. It's just, I always want more. I don't care if you can't run. You have to. Ross McCrory. Igbembe. Killed here. Has a good ball over the top. Otero brings it down. Oh, blocked. Wow. Benny Banningham gets the goal for Rangers to make it two each. That does sting a lot, right? He looks apprehensive. The big man's about to come on. Odds and Edward win the game for us. Please don't lose this first game. <laughs> I record that we lose. But if that's what happens, that's what happens. Get creative. Towards the end of the game. We should be winning this. Right, they've brought Lukaku off. He, he's one of their good players as well. I think this is going to end in a draw. Maybe not. Ericsson. That was bad. He's getting tired. That's why that happened. Because he's old. Should we bring him off? It's 88 minutes. We should have probably made more subs. But the second half went by so quick. <laughs> No! Fuck's sake! I knew I shouldn't have played that goalie, he's a dud. I don't care if he won the World Cup. Fucking beat half of Rangers. It's Ericsson's fault and all bastards' legs don't work anymore. Right, why are you passing it back? When oh no, man. For fuck's sake! They deserved it if they should have scored that there. They're just this lacks of daisy co for my lads. Uh, it's lacks of fucking daisy co. Shit! We need to go in here and go crazy. It has to happen. Aggressive. And that was not the result that we were looking for. We rose to the occasion. Right, uh, we need to go to this. But I'll skip to the next match. I'll do this off camera. Hi and welcome back. It's going to be Celtic away to FC Red Bull Salzburg. Uh, it said before the game that we've played them twice and beaten them twice. And we do have a far superior team, so I feel like we should be beating them. But we should have been beating Rangers as well, and that never happened the way that we wanted it to. So there is that on my mind. We're going to bring in Odds and Edward because he's the cool head, 28 years old, bagged the goals in Europe for us the last time. I think we got through pretty far in the Europa League when the rest of the team wasn't really up to much. So we're going to keep, we're going to go for Edward up front. We're also going to bring in Ryan Pardo Roques because I don't know about this guy. Hugo Afonso has let us down, even though he won the World Cup, which is annoying because he won the World Cup <laughs> and he's shite all the time. That's what's annoying. You should be good if you win the World Cup. Should be able to rely on you, and I can't. We also changed Jada Edward to be deep line playmaker on defend. Uh, I must have messed that up and left it on support against Rangers. Normally, I like to drop him on to defend in the, the bigger games. Right, so we're away. So, what do we want to say here? We're favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure that they're lo left, and as to no doubt why. That sounds good. Odson Edward looked happy. That fills me with joy seeing that guy with a smile on his face. <laughs> Hopefully that turns into goals. They're a very good team. And relative chance of keep Right, don't that no. No, he can't play. Because Naldo is younger and can't be better. He needs to get Champions League games in him. Here's Almada, he's back in the team instead of Alfredo. Is that Edward got on the end of that? He scores a lot of heaters for corners, I like that when you've got a player that gets on the end of things in there. And you're a threat for set pieces, Edward. Even though he's only two and a half stars, I, I still feel like he's the, the goal machine that we need. Give him another few games to prove it. But we spent 48 million on him, so I mean, you could probably buy every other team in Scotland with that. So he better turn into a goal machine. That was some goal. Also, I didn't go through the team. I, made, I took Ericsson off and put Amit Tekken on. This is 
the being new to football manager YouTube videos kicking in now, so I apologise about that. But that was the two changes taken in for Ericsson and Edward and for Greg or and also Almada and for Alfredo on the left hand side. Because Almada is the Doug's dangly bits. Niang. Friedel. We really need want another goal here. We look shaky. Nardo at the back stick here, getting it away. Ah, uh, Greg Taylor, come on. You're better than that. Oh, it's one each. Thorgan Hazard. I feel like he's used to play for us or something like that. Did he? Decent goal, but you, he should be winning that in the left back. Like, it's so hard to find a decent young left back that's coming through. The only one that we did see, Bruce Dortmund ended up nipping and getting him instead of us. He lets them land more. That's a goal for the halfway line. That is a goal from the halfway line. Goal review. They didn't give it. Oh, no. Nothing's going our way. It's all Celtic in the game though. We've had seven shots, they've only had three. So it's more of this and we should win. Unlucky. Nobody's playing amazing. Probably the goal scorer is the only one that's getting in the green just now. Nice ball. Robert. Sixth goal of the season for right wing. If he can stay fit, we'll have a good season out of him. Gets injured. He'll miss a chunk of the season with injuries, but he'll score in all the games he plays almost. Look, 30 minutes in, good game's going well for us. 3 1, there we go. Romero again, 7th goal of the season. So hopefully he keeps this up because the strikers don't seem to be deadly. Which you don't really want when you've uh, just spent £48 million on one. You kind of want them to be scoring goals. Tekken. I think he might be better than Ericsson in that lower, the deeper. Oh, 4 1, game over. This is more like the Celtic we know and love. The fact that we had a pure good performance in Europe makes me feel like this might be the season. But we do have Inter and Bayern Munich in our group, so as long as we can beat Salzburg twice and we get into Europa League, we could go for a run at winning that. That's easier to win, obviously, than the Champions League. Obviously, the Champions League is the one you want, but being realistic, Inter Milan and Bayern Munich are probably going to be favourites against us. Robert! Edward! Good on you. 5 1. 48 million pound, man. That's 24 million pound per goal that he's scored so far. But it's only his early days. If he is anything like the old Edward, then we are in for a treat. Their goalie's having a 5.8. That's nice. That's nice. 5 1. I'm not even going to say anything. Damn air. Score more goals. We look a lot more dangerous with Almada on the left hand side because he is. They need to mark him or stuff happens. He does bits. Naldo. Tekken. Naldo. I'm at Tekken. I was kind of hoping that would go on Edward's head. Justify that big price tag. Greg Taylor. Greg Taylor. This is what Jada Edward does. He does this. Wins the ball, keeps it, passes it to somebody. Gets the ball, passes it to somebody. Doesn't he set up a load of goals, but he just controls the game from the deep line playmaker position. 65 minutes, let's make some subs. Who do we want to bring on? Tiago Amada's coming back from injury, but he's got decent, decent here, so I think we'll keep him on. Alfredo Bring him on on the right instead of Romero. But he is on a hat trick. So, no, we won't do that. We'll bring Kieran Smith on for Ben Godfrey. No, we won't. We'll bring him on for Pavlovic because he's got one less condition. Right, cool. Uh, any other subs we want to make? Pazaglia, we'll bring him on for Naldo. Give Naldo a rest. 
And who else? Let's just make two just now. Make another one, it's like 74 or something like that. Oh, there's a highlight. See, he always gets injured, that's why I was going to take him off. But let's take him off right now. Alfredo will swap Almada and Alfredo over. And we'll keep it like that for till the end of the game. So Romero will probably miss the next two league games, come back. That's what the way that he normally works. It's his style. Look at Almada, one side of the pitch to the other, nobody can get near him. Azaglia. Jadar Eduardo, what a strike that was, 6 1. And if, if we keep up this kind of level of performance, we could win the Champions League. But obviously, we're playing against Red, Red Bull Salzburg, so I'm probably delusional. But it's possible, you just need to keep keeping on, I'm sure. Keep adding players like Jadar Edward. And anything's possible. Alfredo's on, £29 million pound man for the last 15 minutes. 6 1. So we should be top of the group. Ha. Good save. See, Ryan Pardo Rocky seems to be far superior to the other one. I definitely like him more, even though he's a half a star worse. I think their keepers had a terrible day at the office. Like, I think we definitely keep Jadar Eduardo on defend for the rest of the games this season unless we're playing really small teams. That we should easily be beaten. I was unlucky. Are they going to get another consolation? Friedel for a free kick. Bardo Rockies again. See, I think Hugo would have let that in. I feel like that was a chance for a Hugo error. He chan Hazard crosses it. Somebody's there, yep. Ah, conceded two goals, three donkeys of the Austria. Come on. Austrians only good at football. <laughs> Scottish, Scotland, that's one of the countries I'd feel confident against. In real life, if we got them Celtic versus Salzburg, I'd feel like we could win that. Right, good 6 2 away from home in the Champions League. You can't really. What else can you say except well done, lads? That was good. Let's see if there's anything here. Romero injured. Two days, that's good. I'm happy with that. Might leave him at the next game just to let him kind of be fit for the game after that. Press conference I'll do after this. Celtic get 2.32 million, good. Romero continues to be amazing and Jada Edward is wanted by Liverpool. Okay. Well lads, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. I'll come back probably let me have a look. We'll come back for the Hibs and the Inter game. We'll get that recorded. We'll come back for Hibs v Inter. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. See you next time.